Hello all, Dr. Fox back here with you. For those that might have caught it, we kind of gave you the tour of the Fox house yesterday. Uh, we kind of got in there and detailed some of what was going on. I think the uh, we'll have to we'll talk about the, the antenna story for those that may not have heard part of that story. I know I didn't include it in there. That was supposed to be a hint that I'd be talking about it during today's episode. Uh, there's more of the Blizzard Activ Activision walkout, all the paperwork, the chaos. I meant to tell you folks a couple of weeks ago that I did secure, I hope, with Best Buy. I ended up finding one of the white OLED Nintendo Switches. I don't know if I had mentioned that I had traded in mine, too. I know I did a bunch of that. and Talk about like a, a lot of this timing. We'll get into that. Let, let's get into this, shall we? Dr. Fox back here with you with a weekend update. Let's kind of get the, the the more stressful stuff out of the way really, really quick here. Just a lot of this Activision Blizzard walkout and all the stuff that's going on. I just, I'd like to see the Blizzard come back that we, or at least like a game company. And for all those that have just, they're, they're fighting hard for their rights. And I'd like to be able to see them be able to uh, accomplish what they're hoping to do. Uh, and we know it's easier on paper when human beings try to implement these things. Nine times out of ten, it becomes a broken system. And we just see this thing keep looping through. But let's kind of hope piece of this can come through and we can come out the other side. Uh, we hope. And I think with that, we'll kind of switch gears into... Uh, inside World of Warcraft for a couple of minutes and just a couple of things the those that were wondering the the anima trades good uh, that vendor is in Orbos when you go in where the vault is it, so you've got Orbos like this and then on this side here if you're looking at it from how I'm looking at it the the inn is where you would set let's say somebody sets there I, I've been doing that actually that I've been finding that easier I could go and change my profession to uh, an engineer it is very quickly to portal around and I know I can always go back but uh, if, if you start over here and then you go up one in the upper right hand corner if you're looking at the Orbos map where the banks are in the vault there is usually a little vault key icon there it's in that room off to the side there's a vendor there that will let you buy if you have extra anima but <laughs> and i know some are hitting their their maximum but even with the maximum there's so many things for me to have to buy i think the other day i finally had enough to actually buy i think one of the mounts finally uh, back in the and of course i know i'm not playing as often a lot of people get on every single day and you get also a chunk from doing your your dailies in corthia some of you are getting quite a bit of your your gear up there as well i i am excited i think most of my gear i'm around item level 213 now and i think i've already got two pieces at 220 i know i had a 233 piece drop when i ran that raid the other week i did try the next tier raid this past tuesday uh as well and I know there's a quest coming up eventually for Sylvanas, but that's if we were to actually run the thing through normal or heroic through the... I, I usually wait that following week for when LF, LFR comes in. And then every once in a while, there's been a couple of uh, nice guilds that I've been part of to be able to run those, those groups as well. I'm sure that will come back around with that, that, with that raid set up as well. Uh, the legendary... Uh, base items uh, prizes as well that 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 was another the mention in here uh, as well uh, I I just think with a lot of the things going on and with everything personally going on myself and everything else I I've had to sort of step back a bit and my life's kind of getting taken over right now with a lot of family stuff and some close situations going on in my life right now and I, I have a lot of things that I, finance, finances are becoming an issue for me and I think I'll let a little bit of that leak out uh, the last couple of weeks because it's really stressing me out and I'm trying to kind of eradicate and pull away from some of that so we don't get too involved in, 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 in this chaos and destruction and everyday life that happens to us and we see this no matter what decade you're living in uh, it's just very a, a variant of that prior decade 
uh, as we continue to see how, how we're getting forward. And I'm, I'm just trying to live in it. I'm trying to function in it. I'm trying to wait, find a way to function in it down the road and prepare for, for some circumstances. Of course, no matter what you do, even if you try to have, you know, plan double Z in place along the way, sometimes there's these roadblocks or these parts of your life that just completely crumble apart and you're you feel like that sometimes that that metaphorical not trap but like hole you fall in get sometimes kind of gets dimmer and darker and you know some some will will hold on to uh, religion some will turn to chemical dependency some will turn to all alternatives some some but there's all these things that we want to try to find that because no matter what you do, you wake up and we're con our molecules are constantly deteriorating over time if you want to be the pessimistic side of things. But, but and so we're going to constantly, you know, but that doesn't mean just because that's happening to us, we don't want to go, well, nothing I do is going to matter. And we don't want to go to that place or that dark place. We, uh, many of us have already been there and we, we don't want to see that. And we don't want to stick around if that's a kind of place where a lot, a lot of us go. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's been a tough time. I, I'm so mentally exhausted and I was doing, my, I work out so much and I try to keep high protein and we're constantly tweaking and we're doing the best we can. And then there's secret ways to do it without you having to literally fight your, your battles every single day, psychologically and mentally so hard. And I, I just, I hate to fight so hard. It's just getting so hard, uh, more days than I want them to be. And then listening back while I was getting ready to edit, to add in my, my little uh, bullet point uh, timers that I usually edit in, I'm going, oh my gosh, wow, was I really that out of breath? Now I know too, some of that's the heart palpitations. I was dealing with a lot of stress this weekend and sometimes when I do that, uh, and I do have a heart murmur too, so I, it, it can act up with even the slightest of stress sometimes. And I know that was some of it and it was getting a bit warm and there's just that what I'm saying is there was a whole factor a whole list of factors involved and I was like oh my gosh I didn't realize that it was just wearing me down so much but uh, I, I, I just hope we're all able to hold up a couple of things I wanted to kind of just share a couple of bullet points I wanted to share with you all I was all ecstatic I got these uh, colored I don't know I could be pronouncing it wrong speaking of Sylvanas trying to get there this is a uh, so Sylvania or, or Sylvania or something like that. It's these nice, cool little smart bulbs. And like I said, I found a great deal on uh, four pack. And I've got one more I'm gonna put up upstairs in, in what I'm calling the, the, the babe cave, AKA the game room, if you will. Um, I don't know, if I can get the strength, I might try to paint a little bit later. It depends. I, I, I'm just so exhausted lately and it's making it so, so difficult just to try to keep up on, on what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying not to let it affect me. I, I, I like spending a little time with you all um, on Sunday and we understand there's a lot of factors involved there. And I think with that, we just, for now, I think we're gonna pull back a little bit. It doesn't mean I'm gonna stop completely. Um, but, but that's a story for a different day. And I think I just wanted to also touch on, I was excited uh, a while back, the OLED Nintendo Switch Whites that are coming out. I was, thank you, I think it was Matt Swider. I think I'll, I'll put his uh, Twitter link down there. Uh, I was watching his notifications and we finally had a drop date because they had the Nintendo Switches dropping in like the, the uh, other part of the world. And usually we'll see it here when we get releases like that. Sometimes it's a day or two later. Sometimes it's a week later. And it had been a few weeks, if I if I correctly remember a lot of these details. That's the other thing that makes it very difficult. You know, you, you've got not only aging, but then you've got uh, brain injury. And you're doing your best to keep yourself sharp. And when I get, routines help me a lot. They, they keep me sharp. And I have, like, my, uh, my, my phone. I'll go in and I have to put appointments in there. I, I also have a, uh, like, a neon colored sign by my door. So you guys didn't see it, the, 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 um, uh, all the, the, the coats that were hung up, they were, I got to put it in a better place so I could see it better. 
but I was trying to have it over there so I could kind of see it and remember to like grab my purse and my keys and things like that. I used to have one of those that really used to help my my uh, my brain injury. And just because maybe you go to the doctors or something, I was talking about this the other day with one of my gal pals. Uh, she too is a nurse and very, very intelligent and very, uh, very well trained and versed well in the um, in the medical arts, if you will. And uh, you know, we were having this great little discussion about it, and I think even when you you have your so-called good days, you know, I, I think we all have our good days and our bad days, and some days are better, and some days are worse, or some days are slightly better than what we had prior. And I think we we want to en embrace those small moments, but sometimes you end up going to uh, appointments, and you know, sometimes your so-called providers that are supposed to be helping you'd think they're helping right and in their mind they probably think they are helping in some form or fashion and sometimes we get good days and then they put some reports on the on those on those when we happen to be and i was just suffering you know the prior week and i suffer probably about 90 percent of the year with something constant whether it be migraine i mean i've, I've had to have botox put into the side of these uh the, 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 these veins up here just just to you know I have to put the, all these uh, uh, my my father had had uh, visited the other day and and a couple other people had and they were wondering why it was so dark in here and I have to do that and they don't understand that I have to make it dark so today it's a bit bright I've got it open I'm I'm lucky this is one of the few mornings where sometimes this isn't as severe i can still feel it it's it's very mild right now right here usually it's so excruciating i just can't do this and a lot of times i put on a happy face and maybe i already look tired or i look exhausted already or just sound it but i am i'm so exhausted i'm fun you know <laughs> i look i know i'm i'm aging a little but jeez i mean i'm having to already take like little afternoon naps and i mean i've had to on and off anyway with with some of these but all I was getting at is, you know, we have these good days and bad days, and then it gets put on a report, and then they misinterpret it, and then they, they think you're fine, and there's so many more pieces to it. I don't want to get too alluded too deeply into a lot of this. I'm just sharing examples about how we, we try to get through this, and some would just go, that's frivolous. Uh, it's not going to matter in, you know, a couple months or a couple weeks or a couple years, and I get all that. I think it's just important to to step back though and spend a little um, joy, and, and 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 you know just a nice pat on the back or a nice rub or or just something friendly, not weird and gross, uh, like some would misinterpret it. Uh, it it it's just sharing some moments like this. I think we kind of set back and we got to do a little something for ourselves, but we don't want to overdo what we try to do because then we end up spending a little too too much and i i've had to do, spend that the last few weeks again kind of as i was getting settled in again it's almost like not spring cleaning but like prepping for not just the future but prepping for kind of i'm going through some things and i got really i don't know if we want to call it luck but sometimes things just kind of line up and i brought in like all my amiibos and yeah i know if i could have spent the time and energy and you know put them up on ebay individually i'm sure you know because there's quite it was quite a collection i had there and uh i know if you had gone to like another place that trades them and they take like 50 cents a piece and i did a bunch of them for like five dollars a piece and we 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 had a gentleman that was looking for some and he ended up willing to buy the whole case i really wanted to hang on to a couple of them but we ended up deciding I ended up letting all my amiibos go. I I know uh, some would probably kick me in the butt for that, but uh, it's just it's things like that, like just little things. I'm trying to kind of tidy up as I go. I'm trying to have a few less things going on. Yeah, I know it doesn't help. I just say that, right? And we kind of contradict ourselves because I've got like the big arcade cabinets, right? These massive. I don't know. I'd like to set up a, some kind of setup there, and I would have loved to been able to put. I think it's GameStop. They only take like $15 if you bring in this massive cabinet. It's only got like a couple games on it. Um, so I have a friend. I think they're going to come get that. I've got a few items. I'm trying to tweak and I'm trying to just kind of figure things out as I'm going here. You know, piece by piece. Well, I try to, try to, if you will, downsize a little. And I know I just got that other console. But, you know, I was trying to think about it. I had until yesterday to decide. And 
I had finally decided this week after doing all my research, like a 4K Blu-ray player is like thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400. And I know the PS5s are really hard to get right now anyway. And I'm like, you know what? That was, I mean, I already, it was very difficult. I had like my tablet set up. I had my laptop. I had my phone. I was trying so hard like when those things went live. And then you'd sit there for like an hour and a half. And then I didn't eat for like two hours because I'm trying to... You know, it, it was a lot of work to try to get one of those at retail price because I'm sorry, I'm not willing to spend three times as much. And maybe if I didn't have that that kind of opportunity that time to finally squeeze in to make that purchase. But all I'm saying is I, I found that I, I felt in the end, I was like, you know, I know there's like remote options and we get our monthly ones. And I know that this month's supposedly leaked haven't heard like we're gonna have some kind of crappy game look i don't care at least we get something i'm grateful that even if it's something you know that a lot of people may or may not want and i'm fine i think i looked at the three this tends to happen every month i'll look at them and i'll be like all right well at least one maybe i might consider there's been months where i won't download anything and to be honest i actually it was weird because i thought i had like almost one terabyte in that i thought it was like 800 something gigs and boy that fills up fast when you're downloading a bunch of games i had had i think i had downloaded like the star star wars um battlegrounds one and two a lot of those are really hot like a lot of gigs and it filled up, and the other day I'm going, whoa, I already filled that up. And so I ended, up, I ended up deciding to keep that. So I thought, okay, that's my Blu-ray player, and I was all excited. I, I meant to bring it over because I could share it with you folks, but if you check out my Instagram, it's always in my, in my uh, description below. But if you check it out, I think where well, I was all excited, I think we had posted the, the G.I. Joe Blu-ray. I'm sure they're going to now have a new 4K version coming because I think it just upscales slightly. It was the one that came out a few years ago that had Blu-ray and, and DVD. I was just all excited because I really wanted to see that. And You know, yeah, you can find it if you dig around online and things like that. I'm just trying not to do those things illegally, uh, if you will. And uh, it's just a few things I, I wanted to kind of share that I've been trying to work on and just things that we can kind of spend a little more time to kind of contemplate on. It's, it's been a rough week where I can't have my mind on any of this stuff. And so it'll be nice just to have those couple of little things there to kind of play around with and want something not that i have that much money or time either trust me uh if i had to continue to live the way it was it would literally be like this laptop and my phone and that would pretty much be it and i can live with that if need be but it was kind of nice and they still had a good trade-in value at the time um so i ended up logging out and and wiping it but then they plugged it in. I got a bit of a lower value trade in. And I know if I had spent the time to try to sell it, this is the older Nintendo Switch I had. We took the, that's why I spent the money for that protective. At least the screen looked really good. And it worked fine at home, but there was some issue when they checked it. So the defective amount brought it down a bit. But after I had like the pro gamer option, that helped there some. So I, I, I think with that, we're going to kind of uh, jump into um, the, the, the good old calendar. Uh, for those that hopefully have been enjoying Miss Moore, taking a little nap, get up, moving around. I just fed her. I gave her her little T-R-E-A-T. So if I say that out loud, she'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Usually she gets up and runs around and it's hard to get her to settle during um, when I do this. And I, I've been in... Uh, I had to rehook up the antenna. I was getting kind of bummed and I couldn't enjoy like my MeTV. It wasn't coming in right. I was getting that, that brown circle of death with, with, death with that um, air tv anywhere set up and then i tried the air tv android that took a while boy that processor and that one's really long really old it really is a lot slower than even the little google tv chromecast one that came out earlier this year that gave us like six months of netflix or something when i got it you know little things like that when i and i those that know me know i always try to look for a decent value you know or, or wait a, a long time before i do something like that but uh so we'll, we're gonna kind of get into that. I think we'll get into the calendar girl and uh, calendar kitty. And uh, yeah, I have been staying up here. You'll see that I'm at, uh, we're gonna hit, uh, we're at 54 right now. Uh, I should get the next, I've been getting, uh, we're on, um, there's three more chapters to this in, ch in the, the current expansion, 9-1, Change the Domination. And I just did one of the, quests 
last week and we've got second to last unlocking this week hopefully this tuesday if all goes to plan i don't know i'm so busy now during the weeks it's making it very challenging for me now to have even much time downtime anymore which which is saddening because i'm thinking oh no i just invested in these nice gorgeous like this was my escape you know i needed this this was something really important to me and now i'm like oh i'm not gonna have the time for it you know and they could say well, maybe in a few years right but with that, I think, and then, so what's kind of been nice is I've had pretty much one new storyline open up as long as I was able to spend like an hour or two or an hour or so just hitting those couple of renowned each week. And I'm so proud of myself. I've been able to stay up on it. I think I used, you could see it right there. And if it comes through, I'm not sure how well I'd have to turn off Miss Moore's cam. I'm not going to do that for you. I wish they'd let you just move it. I know there's a way to do that. I hit renowned 54. And so I've got one more storyline next week. And then the following week will be the final one as long as I continue to hit my about approximately two a week. So we're getting up there. The uh, Renown Max is out at 80. So I'm at 54. I should hit 56 this week, 58 next week. After that, that's 20. It's about 11 weeks after that, which is fine because that they're doing this whole spiel going on with Activision and stuff and they don't release something out that's fine that actually would buy me the time i need because i don't have much time to come in literally to do the renown maybe once or twice i'm trying to get a little bit more of a couple of my pieces of gear up a, you know a point or two a bit higher uh, for collecting that 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 research those research points but that's where i'm kind of at with that and uh, with that we'll take a quick look happy dark moon fair week somebody's b days coming up <laughs> <laughs> wink wink uh if you need that text extra 10 percent, i was actually thinking about grabbing that 10 percent today i know there was a reason why i'm gonna have to look at my notes good old free t-shirt day don't forget i did do short vids and helpful videos on where to find all your different t-shirts that day as well don't be afraid to go check out one of my other uh, parts of my channel over there don't even hesitate i know shameless plug T uh, time walking dungeon that's going to begin this week as well looks like we are back around to good old bc that might be one i might consider if i had had the time might have the time this week but i know i don't part of the sanctum of domination looking for raid that unlocks as well for for the week uh for those that had done it last week usually it locks out for you after you you, you run it uh well, let's see the world quest bonus event that's ending this week for those that wanted that little extra bonus going on there if you might have noticed that this week PvP Brawl, Gravity Laps, that's beginning. The Arathi Blizzard, PvP Brawl, that's ending this week as well. That other event as well is, is ending. But if you want to grab that extra 10% you need this week for the good old Dark Moon Fair, I know I told myself I was going to take a little while. I may do that after I get off with you folks for a few minutes. I don't know. I won't be on here for very long. But uh, I may at least touch on that. So I think with that, we're going to kind of leave it there. Uh, I hope you got through July safely. I hope the first day of August is going to be a little bit less humid. And we head into, we're heading towards my favorite time of year, which is fall. And the, the yesterday was a beautiful day. It wasn't too hot. It was like this slight little breeze. It wasn't too cold. It's like, this is the time of year. When the, and then we start to get like the cooler nights. And I'm like, oh, I don't have to sweat anymore. <laughs> Not that I, you know, so, you know, share us the, how, what you're excited about. Uh, let's, let's find two things this week that you can get excited about. How about that? Are you, are, are, are we, because I know we got the COVID and then the COVID variant and all that, and there's all that chaos, but still, some people are still getting out to at least still function in life a little bit, if you will. And uh, I know there's a lot of fairs have closed, so I know that's kind of a bummer for some. Is there anyone else out there doing any sort of micro fair or any other little small event that they still kind of let continue to be on do it? Or I know shortly, I mean, any day we could see them kind of pull that back. And they're like, even if you have the shot to still wear the mask. And I know that's happening in some areas, especially out, out west uh, as well. And there, you know, and I continue to, to, to try to do that. I think I get out to get groceries still like two, every two weeks or so. And, uh. I would have it delivered, but, and some of it's only five cents a bag. You know, I, I it, it, there's, I know, and I know it, it's like saving money for giving them a small tip because they're doing all that extra. I, I get all that. 
but uh, it's just something for me. I know I got to do uh, an oil change pretty soon on my cute little hybrid car. Starting to sound a little more noisier. I know that's coming up pretty soon. So I got to do that. I'm after hunkering down. It's a very, this is going to be my, I think the, t the toughest challenge for me the next two months. Not only mentally and physically prepping for, for surgery. I have my physical coming up in a few weeks. I hope I hope I clear for that. And I'm trying very, very hard not to eat. I just hope we don't have a few people try to weasel their way in and say, oh, Jan, just eat this, just eat that. No, 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 I, I, I can't do that. I was like right on the premise of being diabetic and I, I'm trying so hard and my triglycerides are always so hard to get down. And uh, God forbid I started to have some black spots and I was getting a lot more spasms. I have some muscle spasms from my brain injury but with the triglycerides tightening up the, those veins, I'm trying very, 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 very hard for that. And financially, I really got to hunker down and I can't really go. And some people are already asking, like, and I knew that's going to happen, to want to go do some things. And I'm really strapped. And I warned a couple of them that I'm like, I'm going to be really strapped for a while. I got to hunker down here. But it's so hard. And I can't just, people think, you know, well, then she must be just sitting around. I'm not. I'm still doing things and I don't have, like, I'm so exhausted. I, I don't just, like, I, I, huh? it's not, you know, I'm working on the little things there. And I think with that, like I said, take a couple things to really think about. Share with me a couple of things that you're looking forward to, 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 to get out and do. To keep some of that hope alive like I've done with the, with the RC. I had to, I wanted to bring another small symbol of hope uh, to our area. So I think, you know. To that, call me in the morning. Once again, we know the drill. We will see you.